Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to do the final flip through of my curator's collection um, ring bound journal. It's turned out massive, as you can see, um, but absolutely gorgeous. Um, well, hopefully, hopefully I think, um, or you will think that it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to come on to that in a second, but just before I do, I just want to show something else that I'm also going to be putting in my shop. Now, I haven't really done these before. Um, now, I have lots of information here, but basically they are book page bundles. So obviously every single book page bundle will be unique because of course I only have one of each book page. Um, but they're going to contain a mix of different books. Now, they're going to have um, 10 pages per book if that makes sense. So they're going to be a variety of, you know, you may get some plain text pages um, and typically the ones that I've picked here haven't. Oh, yeah, that might be. Okay, so <clears throat> they're going to be, yeah, ten diff uh, eight different books. So we'll get 80 different pages all together. And I've tried to do an eclectic mix of stuff. The reason I've done these is because obviously, you know, when I do my haul videos, I so often get lovely ladies kind of saying, oh, you know, I love that book. I've looked and that book's sometimes a crazy price, like $200, sometimes even $800. One, one time there was um, a book that, I mean, ridiculously people were listing for $800. So I thought, well, I have got obviously plenty of the pages, you know, there's obviously tons of pages in a whole book um, and I could share them with you guys. Now, I'm going to discuss the postage prices of these in a second, but I'm just going to show you the type of thing that you will get. And like I say, these are going to be on a potluck basis. They are all going to be different. So, you know, some may be, you know, you would wish that you had more than others, if you see what I mean. Like this one's quite a birdie one, you know, quite a nature -y type one. They're not all going to be like that. They might not even have birds in at all. So I'm going to just give you an example of a few different things. So this one here, you've got some of these lovely pages with some lovely black and white kind of children's type images. Again, I mean, I, you know, I love using all these types of things. And, you know, I'm not using anything that I wouldn't use, you know, myself. They're all pages that I either have used or would use or, yeah, you know, have used and kind of now no longer using that, that book or something like that. So you get eight different books as I say, and I've tried to include a mixture in each bundle so as you get a variety. Now, this one has got just some plain texty pages. I mean, as it happens, this has got a couple of images in with the texty pages, but on the whole, these are plain texty pages. So 10 of those. So you're getting 10 of each type of book, if you see what I mean. Then you've got these ones. These are some lovely Disney children's book images. Again, I mean, absolutely fantastic for if you're doing a children's book journal or for your art journals and things like that. All of the page, <coughs> pages that you will get will be vintage. Now, when I say vintage, vintage is anything over 20 years. So like the Disney ones, I think they're just like from the 80s. Um, so, you know, they're not going to necessarily be from like, you know, 1800, but they're going to be, you know, at least kind of 20 years old. Then this particular book um, page kit, like I say, is quite a birdie, birdie themed one. So again, you've got some more bird images. Again, these are different books. So, you know, they're different um, types of images. And then this particular one, you've also got some of those, um, you know, from the vintage Victorian ads book as well. So that's your kind of typical book page pack. Like I say, it's a total of 80 pages in here. And I've just tried to do randomly, so you've got 10 pages from eight totally different types of books. Um, so you're going to get a nice mix to do, you know, potentially 10 different themed journals, I guess, or, you know, use them in art journals or whatever. So I'm going to show you another example. As I say, they are all going to be different, but, you know, it's kind of hopefully a good ecle eclectic mix, no matter which pack you get. So this one here, you've got some Enid Blyton pages. I mean, I've used the Enid Blyton books so many times. Um, you know, I absolutely love them. So yeah, hopefully you will definitely, you know, have fun with these. Again, you've got some nice images in those. You've got 
um, 10 pages from like a vintage stamp catalogue. Oops. They're like that. Now these are very thin, flimsy pages, so I'll just be a bit careful, but yeah. So again, you know, I use these stamp pages quite often and yeah, they've got a nice kind of selection of pages in there. Oops. Then in this one, you've got some texty, texty book pages like that. There is actually a, an image page just tucked in there, but yeah, I mean, on the whole, they're just texty pages. And again, this is just from a gardening book. Then you've got some lovely floral pictures here from, again, a lovely garden book. Lots of lovely images here. This one here, again, more lovely floral images. Whoops. Like that. Again, you've got some more of those lovely Disney pages. And then this one, you've got some pages from that My Big Wonder Book annual. And again, I've used this lots of times. I used it quite a bit in the glue book junk journal um, that we were making, which actually I still haven't finished. So let's go back to that. Um, but yeah, so you've got a nice selection of images from that book as well. And then finally, on this particular pack, you've got some more florally, florally images again from this book here. So again, you know, really nice kind of selection. Now I'm just going to show you one more pack just so that you really can get a feel for the types of things you're going to get. Now also when they come to you, they're just going to come to you in an envelope like this. Hopefully it will be sturdy enough to go through the post without your book pages getting um, damaged and I will tape around it on like the edges and things so that the, you know, the envelope won't get torn. I'm doing this really to cut down on cost. I looked at kind of putting those please do not bend um, envelopes, you know, the very stiff ones. But to be honest, it all actually mounts up the cost um, of obviously having to buy those envelopes, having to post it and things like that. So I'm just trying to keep the cost down as much as I can. So this is the very final one that I'm going to show you with an example of the types of pages. So again, you've got some stamp catalogue pages again in this one. Again, you've got some more Enid Blyton book pages here. You've got some more of those lovely florally ones. Oops. You've got some more of those lovely bird pages in this one. You've got some of the vintage catalogue, the Harrods vintage catalogue in this particular kit or this particular book page bundle. So again, lots of gorgeous eclectic things. You've got the washer, um, you know, machinery stuff, some lovely bird cages and things. Um, and then here again, some more of those lovely Disney pages. And then here, this is some of that Edwardian shopping catalogue. And then finally, some more florally book pages. So again, you know, a really nice mix. Again, like I say, eight different books with 10 pages from each book. So you're getting a total of 80 pages, um, you know, and hopefully, yeah, a really nice mix. So, I mean, anyone getting started, if you don't have a huge collection of books or anything, or you don't want to buy, books because I mean sometimes they can be a bit costly you know maybe like you know sometimes five or six pounds a book um you know and also you maybe wouldn't use the whole book you would maybe only use you know a handful of pages from the book and then you're stuck with an entire book so I'm hoping that this would be a cost effective good way to buy these now I'm going to list I think it's 14 packs that I have put together so far um, I'm going to see how these go. I would love to be able to do these. Obviously, it's a very time consuming thing. Um, you know, sorting the pages, packing them, listing them and all of those kinds of things and posting them. So uh, this is a trial. I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to see how they go down, whether people like them, you know, all of that stuff. And, you know, then we'll kind of see. And then time wise, obviously, you know, I might have to kind of rope my son in or something um, to come and work for me for, you know, a couple of evenings a week to try and do that. Because, you know, I would love to be able to do that. But like I say, it might just be that I'm biting off more than I can chew by doing that. Now, with regards to the postage. So I've jotted down here um, the cost for the postage. So 
I'm putting this out to apologise now because the postage prices have gone literally crazy and yeah, it's ludicrous to be honest um, how crazy that they've gone. But I want to just give you an idea because I want you to know that, you know, what I'm charging for postage, I'm not just literally charging, you know, fortune for the sake of it. This is how much it, it costs to post. So the first price is £3.39. Now that would go second class signed for in the UK. Okay, so that's second class signed for in the UK for your postage costs. Obviously, this does not include buying the book pages, if you see what I mean. Um, and all of my prices are listed in dollars um, because Etsy likes to have it listed in dollars. Obviously, the majority of my customers, um, you know, you lovely ladies are from the States. And so, you know, I have tried to do it in pounds, um, you know, a few years ago. And to be honest, actually, I had a lot of messages where people then didn't really like it being in, in pounds. I think Etsy have perhaps um, changed their system now, but for some reason, my my settings are still set in dollars so it's going to be around about three pounds 39 when you do the conversion but obviously i'm putting it in in dollars so it could be a few pence either way right um the next price is within europe so the european union um tracked and signed price is 9.95 that's nine pounds 95 pence okay the tracked and signed price to go to the States, so to go to America, is £12.60. So that's, again, £12.60. So I'm not sure what the dollar equivalent is, but that's what it would be listed in my shop, is the dollar equivalent. Um, and then finally, the final price is to Australia. Tracked and signed is £14. So again, you know, I just can't apologise enough for those crazy, crazy prices. I mean, the irony is... You know, actually, I'm going to try and keep the price of the book page bundles around about £10, um, you know, after um, like Etsy fees and, you know, kind of dollar conversions and things. So the irony is actually all three of these prices are basically more than the price of the book pages. So I just want to put that out there because, you know, I'd really hate people to sort of feel that I'm trying to rip them off or anything. I'm, I'm honestly not, um, you know this is how much it costs to post so yeah like i say they are going to be going in my shop now i'm hoping that i'm going to coincide it with um obviously this video going up they may or may not have gone in there already again i need to see about how to list them um because you know i don't know whether i'll be able to just list them as a quantity of 14 and then each one sells another one gets renewed or whether i would have to list them separately i'll have to look at that but that's you know nothing for you guys to worry about um so yeah just keep your eyes peeled and yeah they should be in there and then like i say we'll see how they go if you guys really like them then you know i'm really hoping it's something we could do more often because you know i would love to be able to share um some of the wonderful books and obviously, again, it will all depend on my ability to be able to get hold of books because, of course, you know, they're normally a one-off thing that I just managed to get. Um, I can't necessarily rebuy or buy many of them. Uh, right, okay, so that's, that's that. So, on to the journal. So, here we have the Curator's Collection Ringbound Journal that we have been making. Now, it's huge, 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 huge. So, yep, it is... Oh, my goodness, can't see... Eight and a half inches by oh, about six and a quarter inches um, is the size of like the covers. It's massively chunky. So at the widest part, it's about four inches thick. So yeah, huge and chunky, which is just my favorite type of, <laughs> type of journal. Now the closure for this is a snippet roll. And the snippet roll is, oops, I was putting it the wrong way, is closed with these um snap things they're like a purse closure you know what you might get on a handbag or a purse so i've stitched those on um the one here it's all kind of covered up under here so yeah you can't really see it the one on the underneath there's just some felt there but you know you can't really kind of see that once it's on um but that is the closure so i will just open that snippet roll out for you to see and of course, that whole snippet roll is then pull awayable. So, you know, you don't have to keep it around here. I mean, you don't even have to keep it with this journal. You could obviously cut it up and use it on your own journals yourself. So the journal itself, it's a ring bound journal. It's on the huge rings. 
I put one of my lovely um, Tassley charms down on the side here. So yeah, really pretty. Now the cover and the back cover. I have so heavily decorated this. Um, it's unbelievable. So used a whole bunch of different fabrics and things to layer up and collage up on here. So the front I've decorated very heavily with obviously fabric and um, lace and, you know, this uh, sari silk and a sari silk bow, fabric trims, some ribbon embellishment, gem, these little um, ribbony flowers. It's got all sorts of things going on on this cover. And then you've also got a little bit of page from the kit and then a couple of elements from the kit which have also been glossy accented. So they have got like a sheen to them. Um, the back is just a collage of fabrics. It doesn't have any, um, you know, paper components or anything. It's just a collage of fabrics. I will also probably be putting my Handmade by Shabby Dabby Doodah, um, you know, stamped piece on the back. Um, I just haven't done that yet. So let's go inside the journal. So going inside, now I can't tell you how much I love how this has turned out. It's just, oh, yummy. Love it. So I really hope that you guys really love it too. So on the inside of the front cover, I just did a massive corner pocket here. You've got lots of various things layered up. You've got a little ribbon sort of um, banner here with some lace. You've got some lovely ribbon down the bottom with some lace coming out and a flower trim. It's all been kind of edged in gold. Um, I think that's consistent throughout the whole journal. Um, you know, lots and lots of gold bits on here. And I've tucked in one of my little uh, photograph, um, you know, uh, vintage architecture photographs just tucked in that and then this lovely um, booklet that I've made here just from some food colour paper which again I just thought wow how gorgeous is that colour wise with this uh, tucked a doily round the edge and I've just sewn it on the sewing machine and then you've just got a piece from the curator's collection on there and the word wonderful so you've got obviously journaling space in there like that so that just tucks in there all the pages have got these whole reinforcers. I love the look of that. It just makes it look really vintage and yummy. Um, so on the next page, so all of the page bases are just an A4 folded over, glued together and then stitched around. Um, so on this page, we have got a little fold out piece here. And inside the fold out piece, you've got a little flippy pad just with a couple of pages there for journaling. You've got a little label down here. And then on this side, you've got a pocket and I just tucked in a stamped piece on some um, food coloured paper. And then you've just got a little word down there as well. So that just goes in like that. This then ties closed with this lovely ribbon. You've got a lovely cluster here and a little coloured book plate. So all of the items pretty much in here are all available in my shop as digitals. Um, you know, obviously the curator's collection, so all the background papers and toppers and all of those things, they're all from the curator's collection edition three um and then the col colored book plates they're all available in my shop and things as well so yeah unless i kind of say otherwise pretty much everything is available as a dig digital in my shop then you've got this little fold out piece here which again i just then stitched in a couple of sheets of coffee dyed paper again inked it all around in gold just looks scrummy doesn't it and then just made this little closure kind of mechanism there so that just tucks into here like that and then this is also a pocket on this side and I just tucked in just a little fold out like that again all available in my shop these um, images and yeah journal and space inside and a little flower trim so that goes in there you've got lace trim running down the side and a gorgeous yummy tassel which Oh, I just love using those. And then here you've got um, some lace trim and things at the bottom. So very lacy, this journal. Uh, so on this page, I love how this turned out. So all I did was literally folded up a piece of the background page. So left it plain for journaling, just popped a cluster on here just for sort of decorative detail. And then a lovely, gorgeous wax seal. I mean, I love those wax seals so much with just some ribbon. And I mean, that is so simple, but my gosh, doesn't it look so lovely? And then you've just got a button embellishment down the bottom and then tucked in because it's obviously just glued down like a pocket. I just made a large journaling card there with just some of the background pages from the kit, one of the little toppers and again one of my coloured book plates and some of my bright butterfly printables as well. And then on the back it's just the neutral colour from the kit and so you could journal obviously on the back there. It's been stitched around as well on the sewing machine. 
Then here made um, an envelope and this is lined here with black lace, just, you know, to sturdy it up really. Um, and then you've got some lace trim here. I left all this plain because, you know, it's such pretty paper, so I really wanted to be able to see it. Um, and then tucked in just a tag that I made, again, just using some background page. Um, this background page is actually from my um, Dickensian Christmas um, kit. It was just some I had left over, but I thought it tied in well. And then some toppers from here and some of my colored book plates. Some sari silk as a bow, and then it's just backed onto some vintage book page there. So that just tucks in like, oops, like that. And going over the page, um, this is one of my, um, you know, vintage postcards in the architecture style. That's just a pocket, and again, just tucked in just a piece from the curator's collection, toadstool toppers. And that just goes in there. Again, one of my bright butterflies and some lace trim and some diamante. And then on this side, you've got some lace down the edge. And then you've got here one of those matchbox books with journal and space in here. And then, of course, you could always add some extra like flippy pad pages or, you know, a little booklet. However you wanted to do it, you could always add extra pieces to these. Um, so that just tucks in. Oops. And again, obviously... Yeah, it was tucking in fine before doing the video. And of course, now I'm doing the video. No, it's not wanting to tuck in. Ah, right. Okay, so that just tucks in there. You've got some lace trim and some diamante. And then tucked in here. Oh, no, tucked in here. It's also a pocket. And I just put in. So this is very similar to the matchbox. But it's a flip down with journaling space here with some extra sort of flippy pad papers. And it's all been glued into here. Um, that all just tucks in there. And then you've got one of those file folder tabs at the top. I just love how that looks. It's so pretty. And that just all tucks in. And it's a super neat piece, you know. Although it's kind of, I mean, it's not bulky. But, you know, it would seem like it would be bulky. It's not at all. Um, another piece from the curator's collection from the bugs piece. Um, or the insects one. And then here, just a little bow. Um, sorry, ribbon embellishment there with a flower then on this page I'm pretty sure we did this together you've got some um embroidery thread here tying this round you could cut that off because I also oh oh this was a magnet and it's not glued down so sorry about this we'll just get some glue well it obviously had glued down and now it's obviously come away so let me just grab my glue now I'm going to use some e6000 for this um these are those lovely strong magnets that I saw on Andrea over at Artie Maze on her channel. It's the first time that I have used these and um, yeah, isn't that typical? First time and now look, I've torn it off the page. Right, oh, that's messy glue. So we've got obviously a magnet here, closure. Oh gosh, let me just now find my lid to my E6000 before that drips everywhere. Okay, right, so you've got a magnetic closure as well as the embroidery thread. Um, now that's not going to be glued, so yeah, it's not going to want me to open it. Right, let me just quickly open it like this. Tucked in the pockets, you've got one of my architecture postcards, and then you've got a couple of tags. Now we made these, these are my Christmas freebies that are available on my shabbydabbydoodar.co.uk website. But don't they go brilliantly with this curator's collection? just thought they went so nicely so they are just tucked in here and then the postcard there right let's try and now uh, make sure this is sticking down right and then that just ties up you've got again another button embellishment here um and a cluster and things and then you've got again lace trim actually down the bottom down the side and a ruffle then on this page now i've never done this before this is a new thing for me so I bought some of these thingamajigglies. Um, I don't know really what you call these, but you know, these are those kind of metal things that you get inside file folders sometimes to hold the pages down and hold them flat. So I bought these from Amazon and obviously, you know, this comes out and this moves out. So you can then remove your pages. So if you filled these pages up, you could then do a load more pages and put them in in its place, if you see what I mean. Um, so I thought this was quite a good little gizmo to use in our junk journals. 
Now it comes as silver. I have used my patina to obviously vintage that up. Um, so hopefully you can kind of see that on camera. Obviously it looks quite rustic and things because I'm hoping it looks now a bit rusty. Um, I just popped on a piece from the kit. You've got that beautiful paper underneath. And then just here, a whole big selection of beautiful pages. You've got some um, greaseproof paper there as well. And, you know, coffee dyed pages, some vintage book pages. And, oops, completely upside down. Um, and obviously the food colour pages. So you've got a lot of journaling space in here. And like I say, you can actually take them out off of this thing to journal in them. But also don't forget this is a ring bound journal. So of course you can open your rings and you can take out individual pages to journal on them as well. So, you know, lots of journaling space on, on just that one page. Um, here you've got some lace trim and then going over the page, more lace trim. And then you've got one of those um, thingamabobs, uh, you know, coin envelope things. Again, lots of detail going on here and then fabric ruffle, a butterfly and then you've got a magnetic closure which thankfully I haven't ripped off of the page and <laughs> tucked in there. You've just got, again, just another little kind of, um, you know, booklet with some pages and then just, you know, various things kind of layered up on there. Love how that looks. Just really, really pretty and that just slots in like that. That closes. That's just like a tuck spot and so tucked into there I just made a little envelope just using oops, some of the background page and, you know, just stitched around it on the sewing machine. I love how this looks so much. So I just popped on one of the toppers, put four little pearls in the corner. The word delight. It's all been um, gilded, you know, with some gold paint. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? And then here on the front just put some sari silk with a flower i just love this envelope so much it's such oh vibrant regal, regal sort of colors and then just tucked in a couple of printables there for journaling space so that just goes in and that just tucks all in there then on this page here we've got that double belly band that we made so basically you've got a belly band here and then a belly band behind so in the first one i just again made like a long flap envelope which opens like sideways really. And then I tucked in a vintage printable of a photograph that just goes there. And then this just closes over. You've got some ribbon and a flower. So that just all goes in. You've got a lovely topper on here with some detail and things. And that just goes over there. Now you could use a paper clip if you wanted to. I personally don't think it's a problem being a bit flappy, but you know, if you wanted to put a paper clip on, you could. And then tucked in the back, You've got a massive tag. Again, this is some of that page from the um, Dickensian Christmas. But again, I mean, how well does that just go with this whole kit? So lots of gilding again going on there. And I used one of the big butterflies as the tab. So that just tucks in there. You've got some pearls going on on the top. And then just some oops, ruffle, uh, yeah, ruffle and some diamante trim down the bottom. Then going over the page on here, you've got that big pocket. We made this one together. Um, so, you know, I apologize if you've already seen this. You've just got a little fold up flap here. So folds out, you've got journaling space obviously here and here. And again, don't forget, you can take these pages out to journal. Then you've got this little pocket here where I just popped in just a little piece from the kit. Again, just love how this whole thing looks love 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 that tassel it's so so gorgeous in that color isn't it so yeah that all just comes out there and then just tucked into the side oops oh if i can get it out i've made just a big um journaling card again use one of my bright book plates and some of my black words and then just made a little topper and popped that on and then it's just plain on the back plain red this is again from the Dickensian Christmas just some of my overspill that I had printed but I thought wow it just you know picks up the reds really really nicely so that just goes into there then on this page again this is just a little stitch down pocket I've just popped in a little vintage printable um, of some architecture there um, one of my bright butterflies one of my little um, you know bright book plates and then here Again, just made a little tiny kind of fold out booklet with just some pages. This has just been stapled together. And then doesn't that look so pretty on the front? I just love how that looks. And that just tucks into that pocket. 
then this page here you've just got again very similar in that you've got this big pocket down here again just made another journaling card gorgeous gorgeous and then here you've got a little paper clip holding this piece on this is just one of those little kind of flip outs with some coffee dyed paper and again just put that little you know debris thing on there so that just tucks in to there and then you've just got again another colored book plate and some ruffle and that just paper clips on like that again you know you don't really even need the paper clip but just you know if you wanted to have the paper clip then it's there um, and that has been sort of you know rusted up with patina then here you've got some blank pages for journaling so you've got 10 pages here for you know for your journaling pages so they're just coffee dyed or food colored most have been um you know gold um put around dabbed around the edges in places this one as you can see i've just made a little corner tuck and tucked this up in the corner and this is again just one of those little fold outs <coughs> and again you've just got some pages tucked into there oops and that just tucks in behind there love how that looks that's so gorgeous isn't it and that just tucks up like that then obviously plain for journaling plain for journaling just a little piece there plain stuff for journaling there and then here you've just got a you know again patinaed paper clip holding on this lovely tag how gorgeous does that look and again this is just some paper from the Dickensian Christmas but my goodness doesn't it go well um love the topper on there with the wax seal just oh yummy 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 so yep that's all on there again plain for journaling plain for journaling here plain plain and then just some you know ruffled ribbon Again, plain for journaling like this. Oops, plain for journaling there and there. So, I mean, even though they're plain for journaling, they still look pretty. Most of them have still got a little something on. This is that tag that we did in the mass making. So you've got two pockets in here, um, which, yep, I must remember to put something in. So let me just quickly sort out a couple of pieces right now while you're on the, on the camera. So, yep, hold on a second. So, yeah, you've just got a couple of pieces tucked in there. I mean, obviously, these haven't been coffee dyed or anything like that. But, you know, you could then obviously move them around and put them where you like into your journal. But just so you've got, you know, a couple of pieces tucked into those pockets, basically. So, yeah, they are in there. I love how this tag looks. It's obviously one of those double, you know, double page tags. Like I say, we made it in the mass making and we've got two pockets here on the front as well. One of my coloured book plates and a coloured butterfly there and a little file folder tab. And that just again, paper clips on the top with one of those patinaed paper clips. Then again, you've got a plain page for journaling just with a fabric ruffle. Another plain page here and here. And then you've got a um, plain page there just with this, which again, I think I actually did this as a pocket. So again, right, let me just get out a oop, another piece that we can just pop into there oops i don't think that's going to be quite right because it's going to um overhang the page a little bit oh let me just see if i've got the smaller one okay so we'll just put that one in just so it's not overhanging the page um and then obviously plain page for journaling and plain page here now on this page although it's plain i've obviously done another corner pocket just like the first of the plain pages and again, it's it's just been literally gilded up around the edge, but it looks so pretty. And then I popped in just a paper bag. The paper bag's been coffee dyed. Again, just popped on a couple of bits from the kit. Oops. And then it's got something in, but it's tight fit. Um, just here made like a little journaling card um, just by layering up a couple of bits. That goes in there like that. And that all just tucks up there. Then on this page, we've got um, one of those envelope pockets. And again, tucked in there, you've got just a little flippy pad with some bits of food coloured and coffee dyed paper. And then that's just been stapled across and then got some sari silk going across there. And then here we've got that other tag that we made during the Christmas video with the Christmas freebies. So again, this is that Christmas freebie, which is available on my website. So on the um, shabby uk, not in my Etsy, this, um, this printable. So, but it's absolutely free. So yeah, that's there. And it does go really nicely with this um, curator's collection, unbelievably. 
because um, you wouldn't have thought they would go, but they do seem to tone really well. Uh, fabric ruffle up here, some lace trim, and then just a cluster. And then here, another one of my little vintage printable architecture pictures. Okay, and now we're on the last page. So there was a lot to see in this journal, wasn't there? So on this page, we've got one of those slot pockets, which again, we've made those in the mass make before. Love how this looked. We did this, I think, on video and we've got the ribbon here and then just some pearls kind of where the staples were. One of my bright butterfly printables there with some bling, some lace trim down the side with some bling. And then here, just tucked in again, another one of my architecture pictures there. And then here you've got a big tag love how this tag looks it's so lovely so it's just backed onto some vintage book page um just a couple of elements like layered up there and then use this piece from the curator's collection as like a tab doesn't it just work brilliantly on there and then up here i just included another piece a uh, couple of pieces from the curator's collection this one as a pocket so tucked into there i just put another piece from the collection that just tucks in oops like that and then the large tag obviously tucks in like that. Okay, we're on the last page. So this last page, absolutely love how this looks, I have to say. So I did a double corner pocket. So the double corner pocket is just made from some of the background pages, which I've just layered, <laughs> layered up. And then again, just inked them up with the gold paint. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's it with nothing in the pockets. It just looks so pretty, doesn't it? So I just edged it with some of that um, hessian trim and then put one of my vintage label um, printables and one of my bright butterfly printables on there. Made a bow from the sari silk and just, you know, glued that onto the edge. It just looks so pretty. I mean, that sari silk is such an awesome colour and it's just exactly the same colour as this butterfly, would you believe? So yeah, it just looks really pretty. And then put some bling on here, obviously some lace coming out at the bottom and then doubled up um, some flowers at the top and then tucked in the, you know, the back pocket. I just made this little fold out piece here. So all this is, is basically a sheet of the background paper. Obviously, as you can see, my printer didn't like it and, you know, left that border. I've left that on there. Um, it didn't really worry me. And to be honest, I thought you could always kind of, you know, put a decorative strip down the edge or, you know, some lace or something like that. But I wanted to keep this side really so that's why you know that's why it's there I mean you could even put some book page down there or something you know I think it's quite easily disguised um just it's all inked up with the gold and yeah then on the front just again made a little cluster with some items there and then put this gorgeous color ribbon trim round which just wraps around twice and then just tucks in a couple of times under itself like that as the closure how gorgeous is that so that just tucks in on the back pocket and then in the front pocket i've just got again one of my vintage um you know architecture postcards that just tucks in there so that is the entire journal it's huge absolutely huge but oh i had such a lovely time making it so i just want to say thank you so much to everyone who bought that curator's collection i really hope that you've loved using it just you know as much as i did um you know i know i said it lots of times and lots of you did comment and said you know bugs and insects not your thing at all they are not my thing at all um as you know if you follow my channel you know they are very yeah not my thing but because the pages you know of the kit are so pretty and vibrant the bugs and insects worked fine for me and i was able to work with them and you know to the point I actually really love how they all look so um yeah thank you so much to everybody who has bought the kit thank you so much for watching um the flip through and yeah i really hope that you're having a blast if you're you know you're using the kit at the moment and obviously this journal um it's going to be listed in my etsy shop um, along with all those book page um, kits. So, yep, I really hope that you like it and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.